serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. So before you all, some of you all came to church this morning, we did a little exercise. We wanted to see exactly where we were on the way to church and as we stepped into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. We didn't collect it. We just lifted it up before the Lord because I told him, just be honest. Amen. Because sometimes our thoughts are all over the place. Sometimes we come to the house of the Lord. How long is it going to be? I have things I need to do after church. Laundry that needs to be done. Grocery shop or whatever the case may be. But the word of God says to serve the Lord with gladness. How can I serve the Lord with gladness if I'm letting life bombard me with these issues? Because we live in this world. It says we, we are in this world, but we're not of it. That's right. That's right. Amen? Amen? So last week we talked about, the Lord talked to us about the words that we're releasing, mm -hmm. the language that we're speaking. So to this week he's saying to serve me with gladness. Hallelujah. That means that tomorrow morning, and you know, praise the Lord for spring break. It was wonderful. <laughs> But praise the Lord, I get to return to work tomorrow. Amen. And I get to go into my workplace and I get to serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. See, it's not just for the house of the Lord. Because we're to take this wherever we go. That's right. And so how are we going to draw people to Christ if we are bombarded with stress? Mm -hmm. If we are looking just like the world is looking? The Lord says to serve me with gladness and come before my presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And how often do we come before the Lord asking, well, when are you going to answer this prayer? And when is this situation going to change? When is this door going to be open? But the Lord says, he didn't tell us to ask all of those questions. He says to come before his presence with singing. Do you all remember the song by J. Moss, A Praise on the Inside? Yeah. That I just can't keep to myself. It says, a hollow stirring up from the depths of my soul. He says, so excuse me if I seem a little giddy or maybe even strange. But praise is the way I say thanks. So regardless of what we're going through, regardless of the situations that we're facing, can you still praise God with your whole heart today? Can you still lift your hands and say, hallelujah, I thank you, Jesus. And even though I don't understand your ways all the time, and sometimes we don't understand the ways of God, but he knows what he has for us. He said he knows the plans that he has for us. He knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us. Thoughts that bring us hope and a future. Amen? So serve the Lord with gladness. How do we serve the Lord with gladness? We serve one another as well. Amen. We, we outreach to others. We show them the love of Christ. Do we always feel it? No, we don't. But it's not based on your feelings. It's what does the word of God say? So the Lord says, I need you to serve me with gladness. Whether you're in the grocery store, whether you're at home, doing chores, whether you have to cut the grass, young people, whatever the chores that the parents have set before you, do it with the heart that, God, I'm going to serve you through this activity today. Amen. I'm going to serve you because I want to please God in everything that I say and do. So whatever task that you set before me, Lord, I'm not going to stop coming into your presence with grumbling and complaining and why does it have to be this way? Why is it my turn to do the dishes? Why is it my turn to clean the kitchen? The Lord God, I'm going to do this to serve you. Because it says whatever we do, we do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto man. And God, I want to do things that's pleasing in your sight. I want to be obedient to you. Amen. And I want to walk like Christ. And that once that you hear Jesus complaining about the people that came to him, to be that they wanted him to minister to them. He's, he had compassion on them. Amen. He had compassion. So Dion, when mom says, I need you to start dinner, no problem. Because you don't know what she's been through at work that day. <laughs> Amen? So you know, I'm going to do this because in doing this, I'm not only serving my mother, but I'm serving God. Right right. I'm serving the Lord. Right. And we have to learn to serve one another. Because that brings glory to God. Amen? So it says, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. We've got to stop complaining uh -huh. about how unfair life is. Because uh -huh. life, uh -huh. life happens. Amen? <laughs> Problems happen. Yes, you meet salty people. Uh -huh. Amen? Uh -huh. 
And it's like, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to love them with the love of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to accept foolishness, but we don't have to respond like the world wants us to respond. Right. Right. That we can extend the hand of Christ. Yeah. We can show the love of Christ. We don't have to talk to them the way they talk to us. Right. Amen? Right. Because this is, this is coming before his presence. Because this affects how we come into his presence. Because you can't go and curse somebody out uh -huh. and then say, I want to enter into the presence of the Lord. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Lord, forgive me for my attitude. Right. Forgive me how I was acting today. Right. Because I do want to enter his, his presence with sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? So I have to be real before him. So that's why when we did that activity this morning, it's like, be real. Yeah. If you didn't want to come to church, okay, God, I did not want to come to church today. Mm. It's not going to hurt his feelings. Because he wants his people to be real with him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because when you acknowledge it, then I can show you a better way. Yeah. Amen. You can't get healing if you don't acknowledge that I'm broken in some area. Amen. 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 And we're Amen. dealing with a lot of adults that are broken and wounded that have not surrendered to God. But God is saying, come before my presence. Amen. Because as he pours into us, we're to pour into others. Amen. Amen. You're to pour into your co-workers. You're to pour into your supervisors. Amen. And it's just simple ways that you can do it by showing the love of Christ. And then it says, verse 3, it says, Know that the Lord, He is God. He is God. Now, how do you define Him? Because we've seen saying songs today that say we believe Him to do the impossible. But do you truly believe that? Is that what's reflected in your life today? Or are we able to say that when we're around other believers, but when we get by ourselves, our viewpoint or our perception change? My God. You know, are we steady? Lord, I believe you. That regardless of what is going on, you are God. Amen. Amen? It is that it's he who has made us and that we ourselves. It is he who has made us. He said that before we were formed in our mother's womb, he knew us. He knitted us together. There is nothing that you can do that's going to take God by surprise because he already knows what you're going to do. He knows your ending from your beginning. Amen? Amen. And it says, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. Who's leading you today? Amen. Are your emotions or your thoughts or world events leading you? Or are you being led by the Spirit of God? The Word of God says to walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And how do we walk in the spirit? By staying in tune with God. Staying in tune with his word. Following his rhythm. Because there's a beat that the world is putting out. Amen. That's right. And it's drawing attention. It's fear. It's panic. It's anxiety. But we have to remember that we serve the one true God. And we have to remember that he is God. That there is nothing that's going to enter your life that he can't handle. Amen. If you believe. Because yeah. he's not going to force himself on you. But he's so loving and he's so gracious. Yes, he is. And so then it says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And enter his courts with praise. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. God is a blessing to be into your house this morning. Amen. It's a blessing I have a place that I can come and fellowship with other believers. I thank you, Lord God, for life, health, and strength today. That I have the energy to put one foot in front of the other and press my way into the house of the Lord. He said to forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as much as you see that day approaching. So we enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We do not enter in here saying, how long is it going to be? Oh, we got to pray again. Oh, we got to do praise and worship again. Oh, I'm so tired of doing this. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Because praise is the weapon that God has given us to combat the works of the enemy. That regardless of what brings comes our way, God, I thank you, Jesus, that you are on the throne, that nothing is hid from you, Lord. That your eyes go to and forth up to throughout the earth, and you see me, God. And you see my situation. Amen? And it says, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Be thankful unto him. 
God, that even when I'm not feeling good, God, I thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Even when my muscles are hurting, God, I thank you. Even when I don't understand what's going on, God, I thank you, Lord. Because I know that you're on my side, Lord. And I know that you are my healer today. I know that you are my redeemer today. I know that you, Lord God, and I've overcome through victory in you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be thankful to him. And bless his name. Because sometimes you can be going through a spiritual battle and you don't know what's going on. Yesterday, I didn't know what hit me. And I was like, I felt like crying. And then I was like, okay, I got to do something. Amen. So put on the praise and worship music. That's it right and there. And went to some old stuff. That's right. Yeah. Amen. And that yeah. started praising God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I was like, and even though I was kind of feeling sluggish, but I was like, Lord, I thank you. I thank you because you sustain me, God. Hallelujah. That when, I, when the enemy tries to come against me, Father, it is you that lifts up a standard against him. That keeps me in the midst of all this chaos that's going on around me. When the enemy wanted me to lose my very mind, God, you stepped in, Father. And you spoke the word to my soul. And God, I thank you today, Father. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Today. 
that have not come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We pray for them today. That they will understand the hope of their calling in you, Father. That the eyes of their understanding will be opened, O oh God. That you are the one true God. No one else went to that cross but Jesus. No one else paid that price for them but Jesus. And Father, on that third day, you rose him up again. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for the resurrection power that's in the blood of Jesus today. And God, we will serve you with gladness. We will serve our fellow men. We will serve our families, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We will not let the behavior and the attitudes of people stop us from praising you. God, we will look at them with the eyes of faith and of love, oh God. Because you said that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We will not be moved by the countenance of man. But we will declare and decree your word, oh God. We will acknowledge that you are God all by yourself, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for a fresh anointing today. We thank you, Lord, for fresh fire today, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, we will hold on to this word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we will bless you and be thankful unto you every day of our life, Father. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank the Lord, Tom.